I'm Lieutenant Dick Chasen. This hadn't been a routine case. And to find the answer, I've had to put a lot of little pieces together. Gang Puck Disney Springs. First time being here, so I'm super excited because they have meatballs and meatloaf. So let's go do this. But for starters, I've ordered the focaccia bread on a wooden plank. Ooh, look at that olive oil too. This looks so yummy. I'm excited. Who's excited? I'm excited. Who's excited? So I know a lot of people, when it comes to bread, they like to compare the spreadability with the butter. But here, I like to compare the soakability with the oil. Oh yeah, that soaked up very well. Be, uh, very floral, aromatic. If you really get a whiff of it, like you're actually gonna like the. The whole essence. I like drinking it without the sugar because it doesn't really need it. But really? It is definitely, I mean, I also don't like a lot of sugar. What's in here? This is going to be simple syrup. Okay. What's in there? Sugars. Oh. And this is the garden tea. Art of tea. Yes, sir. Thank you. I have discovered something here at Wolfgang Puck's. They have a tea that's specifically made for here. And uh, I think they were calling out the art of tea or the garden tea. And it's right here. And I gotta tell you something. I like sweet tea. I'm a big fan of sweet tea. I do not like unsweet tea. But this is unsweetened and I like it. How does that happen? I don't know. Like you can really taste things. I don't know, we, I don't, what am I tasting? What things am I tasting? To go with our focaccia bread here, I've also decided on getting lemon meatballs because I heard they're fantastic. I'm only kidding, I put that lemon there. They're, they're not lemon meatballs. <laughs> they're just ricotta meatballs, but I don't like ricotta, so I asked for it on the side, but I'm excited about this. I'm very excited. A wise man once told me, you can tell a lot by the inside of what food looks like. And that right there looks like a meatball. I'm sorry, Maria and Enzo. These meatballs are better. I hate to say it. But I did take a bite out of this because it, it was in the sauce and I see they have like garlic cloves but I'm not sure what it is I did not like that did not combo time oh yeah a little meatball a little focaccia I like it Ooh, and a leaf honestly just as cheesy and just as good oh well that's perfect so far, I have been very impressed with the tea and the meatballs and the bread, but I just ordered my entree and I've seen it at other tables and I just gotta say, I need to make some room because what's coming here, it ain't small. 
I've cleared some space. Hopefully you've got some space in your stomach. Oh my word. Look at this. It's uh, a wiener schnitzel. We should put something in there for scale. Like uh, what? Like, Nate, that's huge. This is gigantic, isn't it? Have you ever seen anything like that? And that's a bone. Wow. I'm gonna wait for a moment because I don't have any silverware. They went away with the meatballs. This is huge. This is huge. Please enjoy. I know. Can I have a fork though? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <yeah>. that's all right. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to play with your food, but this is for size. <laughs> it is bigger than my head. Ooh, that's kind of cool. This is unbelievable. It is so crispy and delicious. Oh man, oh, that's what I'm looking for. Oh yeah. Please now, enjoy. they're not called mashed potatoes, they're called potato puree? Yes, yeah, sir. Because they're gonna be grounded down a little bit thinner than an uh, actual mashed potato. So, usually a mashed potato, there's actually little pieces of uh, chunks of the actual ah. potato. This one's gonna be more fine, so. Amazing. I actually asked for a side of the potato puree because I was not fan of, well, I wasn't a fan of the fingerling potatoes. I don't know if it was just like the stuff that was coated on top of them, but I feel like I might like that a lot better. Just look at this. Crunch. Oh, yeah. Look at that. When I was actually ordering my entree, it was a real big toss up between the meatloaf and this actual uh, wiener schnitzel. And if you don't know what a wiener schnitzel is, it's pork, pound it down, and this is actually on the bone, pound it down real thin, breaded and fried. Phenomenal, but I'm happy I went with this. But uh, you know, the only thing I was a little disappointed about was the uh, sides that came with it. I really am not a big fan of the fingerling potatoes or lemon. Uh, the arugula is okay, but I did get the potato puree on the side. But I don't know if I'm gonna get charged for that or if it's actual available for a substitute for something like this. I, I don't know, so I'll have to wait and see. But I mean, if I did order this again, I would ask if I could substitute the potato puree for the uh, fingerling potatoes. I finished it all. The only thing left is the bone. And uh, I'll be taking this home and putting it with my bone collection. So check this out. Along with an awesome discount they offer here, annual pass holders actually receive free gelato and a free cookie. And this is cinnamon roll ice cream and white chocolate raspberry. Hey, where'd your cookie go? And I gotta say, the cinnamon roll tastes like a cinnamon roll, but with a little chocolate chip cookie. Oh yeah. All right, I'm leaving a satisfied man with a bright sun. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that does it for me at Wolfgang Puck. Had a lot of fun. That Wiener Schnitzel was gigantic. I ate it all, and I definitely deserve a button. 
So uh, love the life you live. I'll see you next time. Bye.